Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana and we're throwing a wrench in the plans. We're going twice in a week. Uh, tens of twenties of people demanded it out there. Uh, um, I don't know about you, but I got so much fan mail. I've actually had to hire somebody to like read it for me and respond. Uh, but we've decided to do a, a special uh, additional NBA past and present episode number nine with uh, the great coach Pixley. And today, Jonathan, we are going to talk about uh, the NBA uh, starters for East and West. And then we're going to talk about uh, the next seven, uh, which are going to be voted on by the coaches. So we'll talk about that process, how it was done, who's in, and then who we think should the, the next seven should be. And maybe if there was some uh, oversights on the starting fives. Well, and again, oversights, it's hard to, I mean. It is. You know, it's hard to say that's an oversight as fans. I mean, I know yeah. fans are yeah. Sense. So, yeah. yeah, it's like it's nitpicking. It's like it's like when we did our historical top 10 list. You know, if you put somebody at 11, I mean, what are you really doing? Are you really yeah. like, are you is it an insult? I mean, what's the deal here? So it's going to be kind of like that. But we'll talk through it. Um, it's a popularity contest is the issue. That's, that's it is. It is. It is. And just so the people know. And then, by the way, stay tuned at the end because we're going to play the game. Uh, it was very well received. Who's that dude where we take uh, famous cards in the hobby and then we let you try to decipher who it is in the background of the cards. We know who's on the card and who it's the card of because it's got their name on it. But what we don't know is who's getting dunked on, who's getting blown by, who's getting ignored on dunks and layups in the background. And those are some obscure players who will um, – they may have been off the radar, but after being on NBA Past and Present, now we're bringing them back into the limelight at the forefront of pop culture on social media – on the great platform of YouTube. So that's uh, that, that was well, well received. And so here we are like a few days later doing it again. Interesting thing about that to me, the double Kurt Memphis sighting, which I can't figure, because I know you're not going to tell me, I don't know if we'll never see him again or if we'll see him every time. Let me right. just say this. You need, you need to be on your toes. Okay. okay. Just be, okay. be on your toes. The, the other interesting one was, yeah, I would have. There is one that I would not have gotten last time, and it was the actual card. Al Wood. I would have. Oh I would yeah. Have. <laughs> yeah, No, you you crushed that. You crushed that. Al Wood was. Uh, first of all, that set, that 1986 Fleer set. I know you don't collect cards, but that's the greatest basketball set of all time. And I'll yes. fight anybody who says otherwise because it's Jordan's rookie, Barkley's right. rookie, Elijah Wan's rookie, Isaiah Thomas's rookie. Go down the list. Everybody's rookie cards in that set, yeah. and somehow. John Stockton wasn't included in the set, but Al Wood was. Unbelievable, right. <laughs> but Al Wood was in there, <laughs> right. So that's one of those uh, situations where the card manufacturing company, Fleer, at the time, uh, might have had a slight oversight, leaving out, you know, one of the five greatest point guards of all time uh, at the exclusion to, to make sure Al Wood snuck in there. And I think Sedale Threet's in there as well. Who's uh, one of our favorites? There's right? a chance Al Wood is playing in a lunch pickup game at some random rec center right now. I think he might be eating lunch, but I don't think he's playing anything because he would be in his 70, 70 to the eighties, right, or at least eighties. How old are we? We're forty eight. Oh, dude. I mean Stockton. Oh no, you're right. You're right. What am I saying? What am yeah. I saying? Yeah. Although I don't know if Al Wood was a rookie or he could have been in his nineteenth season. We don't know because we because we don't know who the hell that is <laughs> to this day. That's true. Um, Great name though, I would. Not, yeah. And I'm not even gonna. Uh, you know, I'm no, we'll leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah, we're gonna leave it right there. Yeah, yeah. Longwood, Al Longwood would have been better, <laughs> or Ridgewood, or Hardwood. Uh, but we'll leave it there. Let's get going. Um, let's talk about the NBA All Star starters. Okay, so uh, let me screen share here. Let's pull this up. Um, so the two captains. Let's start there. Any surprises that it was Giannis and, and LeBron again? No, not at all. No, I mean, Durant was in that was going to be in that mix. I think had he not gotten hurt, I think Durant would have been there instead of Giannis because he was a lead vote getter at one point. He was. We should have We should have said this. Okay, so they've changed it now to where uh, it's an aggregate. It's like a um, – not aggregate. What's the word I'm looking for? It's a um, – I guess it's an aggregate. It's an aggregate vote. 50% is based on the fan voting that you do on your phone or your TV or your website or whatever. 25% uh, is a select panel of media – and then 25% is uh, current modern NBA players. And so it's a 50-25-25 split. Those three, you know, separate kind of columns dictate who gets who gets announced as the starters. The seven reserves, uh, and it's it's two backcourt, three frontcourt. 
The reserves are also two backcourt, three front court, and then two wild cards. So yeah. seven more reserves. There's been a lot of talk lately about why do we have 15 players on an NBA roster, but we only have 12 on each all-star roster. Right. They're talking about expanding it because everybody's always snub. But to be honest with you, number 16 would be a snub, just like number 13 is a snub today. So either way, that's not going to eliminate that problem, right? It's a playing time issue regardless, though. Like, I mean, you're – It's already. You know, yeah, it's already a playing time issue. You're going to have – three to four guys, two for sure, that are going to be ticked off unless they've asked not to play very many minutes because they're hurt or something yeah. like that. And that happens. Yeah. So, I mean, there's still, honestly, at the end of – if you're a true fan, the end of the game is the only part that's going to matter that will uh, where they will actually compete and try hard at all. That's right. So there's only probably five to six guys in each conference that you want to see on the floor anyhow. At that and then maybe they'll compete. It depends on how close the game is. But usually maybe. it's like all the – yeah, that's the right. laziness equals out on both ends, and yeah. usually it is a close game. But there's one more thing that I'll say, and this is the point that I'd like to bring up. Here's a reason not to expand it to 15, because every year there is two to sometimes six players who are injured, and mm -hmm. they'll they'll get their All Star tag. It'll go on their resume. They were selected mm -hmm. as All Stars, but they'll be replaced with yeah. another player. So really right. it ends up being Jonathan sometimes close to 14 or 15 on the roster anyway, technically. Sure. Uh, and you're right. Playing time's already an issue. That's gotta be a miserable feeling for the coaches. I'm assuming they address this beforehand and say, Hey, look, here's my plan to play you this much. What do you think about that? And then they yeah. kind of ask people, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, you're right. It's the fourth quarter. That's where, uh, that's where everybody wants to see a close game. But it and used to be, I mean, look, historically it's been an issue. Like, I mean, look back when back in the time when we watched it in the eighties and nineties, especially. I mean, the dudes played hard. They actually, I mean, they didn't play super hard, but they tried and competed a little bit in the games yeah. at times. But I mean, there were instances. I remember Shaquille was Shaquille O'Neal was uh, very very uh, ticked off after was it his rookie year. Uh, and he didn't play in the fourth quarter. And I can't remember who the coach was at the time, but he was ticked after it. You know, so yeah. like, that stuff happens. I mean, it, it's yeah. going to happen. It, 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 I don't think it's going to happen as much as it used to happen because you're going to have agents uh, agreeing. You're going to have coaches agreeing. You're going to have fan bases agreeing that, yeah, let's let our guys sit in the fourth quarter. Yeah. But guys that uh, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, guys that are not going to be playing Zion, that, that are all stars, but are not going to be playing Zion. It looks like now maybe Don. Quite likely, Doncic. I didn't. Yeah. Did you see last night? I didn't get to see it. Was it? Yeah, it, it's it's an issue. It's definitely an issue. So, so you would you assume? I haven't read any reports or MRIs or anything like that. I'm assuming he's going to sit through the All Star break. I would have definitely assumed. So. I, I don't know that, but I'm. We don't know right now. It's January 27th at 1:30 Central Time, so we don't know. But I would assume based on what I heard, yeah. uh, Donovan Mitchell is. I don't think he's going to be playing. Probably not. And then, he didn't play last night. I know, and I didn't. I didn't get the vibe that he was anywhere close because I think he re-aggravated a groin or a hamstring. It's a, gro it's a groin. groin. But he's um, the issue is like all the, those teams that you're mentioning, even Dallas to a degree. Like they all have something to play for in the second half of the season. So they're yeah, those franchises are going to say absolutely. Durant's not playing, and right. he'll be selected. Right. Steph Curry will probably play. I'm going to tell you right now, dude. I don't think Giannis is going to play that much. I really don't, I don't either. I think I think that'll be a, a, a well. It's hard to get Giannis off the court, but I think that's a deal where Giannis will and his team will communicate with the coach about, hey, let's try to let's try to do just this. He'll play because he cares about what the fans think, and he's just right. got that dog. But uh, you know who else, Jonathan? Um, oh God, I just went blank. Jokic has been sitting out some games, so we got to watch yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yeah. We said Zion. I just had somebody else at top of mind, and I just forgot what it was. But anyway, so let's pull it up again, and let's talk about who didn't get in that maybe should have started. So here's your starters in the East, okay? Uh, remember, it's two backcourt, three front court, and there's some ability to play around with it. That's what she said when it comes to who's a guard and who's a forward. Yeah. Uh, so we got Donovan Mitchell and Kyrie Irving as the backcourt in the East. I nailed that. Yeah. Um, and then we've got Giannis Tatum and Kevin Durant in the front court. I don't think there's any surprises there. If there was a surprise, it might be that uh, Kyrie Irving was selected over Jalen Brown. Mm -hmm. um, but Maybe. I get it. It's a, as, as weird as the dude is, like from a popularity standpoint, if you ask the average American citizen or worldwide citizen who Kyrie Irving is and then who Jalen Brown is, most would know who Kyrie Irving is. And 50% of this is fan vote. So I guess you got a bunch of other fellow weirdos that voted for Kyrie Irving. Well, the other issue is, you know, again, we're not talking about right now really who should be in. And yeah. 
and because you definitely have an argument for Embiid to be in the front court for sure, right? Uh, even though those three guys are having phenomenal years, I mean Embiid's no further down the ladder than they. Are. I, I'll take Embiid over Kevin Durant I because so of the games. Too. I yeah, so. I wouldn't. I wouldn't if if Durant had played forty games. I wouldn't obviously, but but like with Durant's missing that many well, games, I. I yeah, I mean that, that. But I'm saying like even if Durant had played the entire time, okay, I'm not. I wouldn't take Embiid ahead of him. But my point is Embiid would be in that mix, and the the reality is, if Giannis and Embiid hadn't missed games, Tatum would be out. <laughs> you know, I mean, not not he might not be out because of the vote, but he probably should be out. Based on those three guys, close. Tatum and Embiid's close, man. Yeah, it is. I agree. It, it is, and we looked at PER. We talked through some of that. I'm okay with it. I'm okay. I don't think there's any glaring issues. Let's look at the West. Yeah. Uh, and so, so we would agree. Jalen Brown was the first out on the guards, and Embiid was the first out on the front court. So, again, those guys will both be taken. They'll be selected. No issues there. Uh, again, Jalen Brown, I think, is working through an injury as well. So, again, yeah. who knows? You know, he yeah. may or may not. Did you see him choke those two free throws last night? Oh. Short arm, bro. They barely got to the rim. Alligator arms is what they call it down here. Um, let's see. Western Conference Steph Curry and Doncic are in. Yep. Um, and I'm trying to think off the top of my head, Ja and, and Shea Gilgis Alexander, team yep. success, an issue. But Ja, um, you know, again, it's a popularity contest. So if you're talking about numbers, Steph and Ja are there, you know, what and what. But if you're talking about popularity, no contesto, not, not yet. Close. Uh, maybe one day later in Jaws' career, he, he gets mm -hmm. that Steph Curry type fan base. But right now, good sure. Lord, worldwide, Steph Curry's fan base is preposterous, and that's 50% of the vote. Yeah. Um, and I would think even most players, just out of uh, just a respect for the veteran, would even the players, 25%, would probably give Curry the nod. Maybe the media would be closer. But um, would you, okay, go back to the East when you said this, right? Would you, if it was a should thing, would you put Ja in front of Steph? Because the game's played. Wait, why am I going back to the East? No, I'm saying, like, your argument in the East was you were putting uh, over Durant. You're, you're asking me who I would take? I would take Ja over Steph. Right, because the game's played. Yeah, I mean, and I don't know how many more because Ja's missed, a, you know, a game or two here and there, and that adds up, and yeah. Steph missed all of his at once. So I'd have to look closer at who's missed the most games, but I think Ja's played more, but maybe yeah. not that many more. I need to look at that. Yeah. Um, but over here, you can see the one glaring thing is, uh, Kyrie Irving was number four in the media, right? So mm -hmm. number four in the media had him four. The players and the fans both had him number one. They love him, man. I know. Yeah, and the media doesn't because he's kind of a dick. I know. <laughs> he's kind of a weirdo prick kind of guy. Um, but it is what it is. Maybe they just loved Uncle Drew. Maybe they loved the movie like you did and had it in their top ten. They should you have. think that could be it? They should have. Yeah. Uh, LeBron, 2-1-2, two, two, uh, <laughs> player, fan, and media. Yeah. Zion getting in. Is surprising to me. Uh, Anthony Davis was the closest. Uh, Lori Markinen was neck. Anthony Davis, Lori Markinen, and Sabonis. Sabonis must have gotten crushed. I don't have who voted where, but Sabonis must have gotten crushed by the media, is what I'm guessing, or maybe fans because he doesn't have that pizzazz. Probably be fans. Probably fans it yeah. had to be fans because, see, I think the media is full of a bunch of freaking old school dudes who that's why they don't like Kyrie Irving because he doesn't do things like everybody wants him to do, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And Sabonis would be like a darling media pick, I would think. Where the whereas the fans would be like, oh, I don't want to watch him play because the fans yeah. are basing it on who they want to watch. You know? That's true. That's true. And not again. This is going to come off as very egotistical and condescending, but the average fan, and I think people watching this are probably not average fans, but the right. average fan is probably not the most sophisticated out there, and they're probably right. going to vote based on just strictly name recognition, which gives yeah. older players a tremendous advantage. Um, and uh, and then just hyped up players like Zion. Oh, like I've seen Zion. a million Zion clips. Give me Zion. Who the hell is Sabonis? Who's this Sabonis guy? I don't know who this guy is. That, that's the average fan, right? Uh, and again, the viewers of this channel are astute, brilliant, and uh, and obviously you know well founded in logic. And so they yeah. never would have made that mistake. Um, but the three front court guys that missed out: Anthony Davis. Again, if he plays the whole year, he's in a lock. Uh, Lauren Markinen and Sabonis, and Markinen and Sabonis just don't just don't check the box on super exciting, and so they probably let, got missed out on uh, uh, for Zion. Sabonis' numbers are better than Zion. I don't care what anybody says. Like across sure. the board, Sabonis' sure. numbers are preposterous. Like yeah, he deserved to be an All Star starter. He's um, next under Jokic. Like 
from, from a standpoint of numbers in the front court across the board when you probably uh, I need to look closer at LeBron, but probably uh, look at shooting percentage. I mean, no, I know, I know, I know. Efficiency mm-hmm. is going to be an issue. Uh, yeah, no, I, I know, I know. He's averaging almost 13 rebounds a game, dude. No, I know. He's leading yeah. the NBA, is he not? Yeah, and like seven assists a game, and almost yeah. like nineteen. I think games. he's a, he's a notch ahead of uh, Giannis leading the NBA in rebounds. Um, what was I going to say? I had some, oh, am I going to get a little bit of credit for calling this Laurie Markkinen All Star deal before the season started, and you laughed at me? Well, I don't think you said All Star, but you did say specific numbers. I thought I said like first team All NBA as a joke. Twenty four and like six, which. You're actually a little low. I think he's like 24 and 8 right now. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you definitely get some credit for Hey, he's high. Dirk Light. I don't know how else to say it. He's Dirk Light. Except he's he'll put you on a poster too. He's a little more – yeah, he's – I mean, Dirk was a little more athletic than people realized at the very beginning, right? Yeah. Well, he, um, wasn't, he wasn't this athletic. Not like this, though. Yeah, yeah. you're right. No, this, they, they um, do complain, you know, now. Yeah, so, so that's it. So now here's what it comes down to. The coaches select uh, the next seven. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and it is what it is. And so that's, that's kind of where we're at. Um, I don't have anything pulled up about who to select as our next seven. I guess it's real easy because we can go over here and this PER chart's really super helpful, of course, you know, so we can look at it this way and we can go in the East, um, yes. and kind of figure it out. And Im- Embiid's obviously going to get in, um, yeah. Jimmy Butler's going to get in, right. Mm-hmm. Cause coaches are choosing. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I think he will and Harden will, uh, uh, you know, but I mean, there are people who are like, I don't know if Harden should be an all-star. If you look at Harden. Siakam's getting in. Siakam's getting in. Here's the question, Jonathan. Will Trey Young get in? Uh-uh. I don't think so. Uh, of course, you got a wild, you got wild cards, too. So, let's so just that's what I was going to say. So, at, at most, you could get four more backcourt. Could you get two more backcourt? If, if we agree, is Jimmy Butler a forward or a guard? Uh, I think he's going to be considered a forward on this. You yeah. think so? Okay. Yeah. Um, or either way, yeah. Okay, so if we go to guards, uh, we've already got Kyrie and Donovan Mitchell, right? Yeah, and so you'll have Jalen Brown in as a guard. Jalen Brown will be one of the two, and then Harden will be the other one for sure. Don't think so. You know who? You know whose name keeps popping up? Halliburton. As, yep. Yeah, but he's he's missed. He's going to end up missing ten games. <sighs> Yeah, but you're gonna have other guys who've missed ten games too. I'm telling you, I think he's one. If worst case, he's gonna be a wild card. Worst okay, case. well here here's the deal: you give the nod to Halliburton. He's injured; he's not playing anyway, and so then it's basically like he's not there. So he'll either get it and he'll defer to a non-injured player, or he won't. Yeah, but so that begs that. the question: we're not gonna pick that though. Let's just pick who we think are gonna get the nods. Okay, um, I think it's gonna be. I, are you sure Jimmy Butler is a forward? Yeah, he is. In fact, he's listed as one. I guess he is because every time, every game that they play, he's not the one or the two because it's either um, Gabe Vincent or Tyler Hero. You yeah, know, he's listed strictly. Or Kyle Lowry. I mean, he's you don't realize that he is 6'8". I didn't realize. I know. Part I know. Of he's like Joe Johnson. He's one of those guys like Joe Johnson. You're like, yeah. and then Chris Middleton's another one. It's like, yeah. God have mercy. There's 6'8", 230, dude. Yeah. That yeah. is a humongous human being. That is a huge <laughs> ass dude, right? <laughs> if you saw a 6'8", 230 guy walking down the street, you'd be like, Hey, who are you? <laughs> you yeah. know, it's not just like a random thing. It's that's a big dude. The only thing uh, you does play the only like thing you gotta think about here is like, okay, so Julius Randle is putting up big, like, you know, basic numbers, right? Not the PER, I got it, but like he's, he's putting 15. Up huge I know, but I'm saying like he's he's behind In the Jimmy East. Butler, yeah, you know. And but Julius Randle's killing people right now. Does he not deserve one of those spots? Because the Knicks are better than people thought that they were going to be. You know, Jonathan Porzingis has had an incredible season. I know, but he has. No they suck. I get it. I, I know all that, but Lamelo Ball not in. Um, I don't know. Here, here's who I think for my two backcourt spots. Uh, right. Let's make sure I get this right. Irving and Mitchell are in, right? So I think yes. they're going to go Halliburton and Harden. Yep. And oh, then wow. I think Halliburton's going to be injured, uh, and I think wrong, dude. Jalen Brown, remember, is getting. Oh, J- Jalen Brown. Damn. I'm going to say Jalen Brown and Halliburton. Uh, Jalen Brown and Harden. I think okay. Halliburton will get the wild card, okay. and then I think he'll be out because he's injured. And then I think Kyrie. Uh, I think Trey Young will work his way in. Mm. I think Trey Young gets in. I think Jalen Brunson gets in ahead of Trey Young. God, that's a great one, man. It's coaches. They can both get in. They could both get in because Halliburton's injured. No way. I don't see it. And Jalen Brown may not play. Forward. They're going to pick another forward. Look at these other forwards. You got Siakam. Okay, so who who are you? the lock. Who are your three front court guys? Embiid. Embiid. Okay, Embiid, Siakam, Jimmy Butler, dude, Siakam. Where does Bam Adebayo fit? 
Bam out of bio. Dude, we're running out of space. This is going to be nuts, man. Tell There's going to be – this is why people are bitching about the 15. This is going to be a problem, dude. Because This is going to be a serious me, problem. If you ask me – I know you're looking at PER, but if you ask me as to who the most valuable player on the Heat this year is, it's unquestionably out of bio. Unquestionably. By the way, Darius Garland, his name has not come up. I know. Brunson or Garland or maybe both are going to get bounced, and so is Bradley Beal. Well, Bradley Beal hadn't played, so that doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, he's, played 28. he's played 28, but Brunson's played 47 games and Garland's played 41. Jared Allen can't make it for the uh, for the Cavs. No, not with this group. Not you know, with these other dudes we're naming. Did you, did you go make it uh, Jer- uh, Julius Randle? You know, yeah, what I'm yeah, you can't. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm just saying, Zach Levine, you're out. DeRozan's out, right? Yep. yep. De- Levine and DeRozan are just not even consideration. They're not even close. Out. Oh my gosh, Jonathan, this is gonna be tough. What do you think? Who do you think gets in there? Okay, so my 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 second five that I think are going to get the nods are Jalen Brown. I think Halliburton's going to get a nod, and I, I would say Harden's going to get the wild card, but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, Embiid, obviously, uh, Siakam, and um, Julius. I think Julius Randle's going to be the other forward, the other front court person. I really do. And then you, the only issue is like, so I I got a pick now. Really, it's out of three guys. Because I believe that Harden will get one of those wild card spots. Do you get five more? Durant's yeah. out, Halliburton's out, and Donovan no, 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 Mitchell's out. We're not, we're not doing that. We're okay. picking only guys in the twelve. Okay. 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 So I've got I've got two spots for three people, or three people for two spots, and those three people are Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, and Julius Randle. So who's going to get of the two? One of them is going to get the other front court front court spot, and the other one's going to get the other wild card. I yeah. think personally. It's going to be um, – I think that they will take Bam out of Bayou, and I think that they will take Julius Randle. And I think the reason they're going to do that is um, just more – you know, the Knicks are better than people thought. Randle's been killing people recently. That Celtics win was bigger. Like, it's recency bias, right? I, I think that stuff's going to happen. I think Jimmy Butler's out, dude. I think he's out. You think he's out, but he's going to get in because of injuries? Right. Yeah. Right. Hmm. The only other way to look at it is do, do they take Jimmy Butler ahead of Harden? For the other wild card spot, and then Harden. Harden's the second best Sixer, and Jimmy Butler's the best Miami Heat. So maybe that matters. And but the Sixers are three; they're two and a half out of first. Hey, it's not crazy. Hey, it's not crazy to say the Sixers are winning the East. That's not crazy to say. It's not, but you got to remember. Okay, coaches are picking this. Yeah, you think James Harden is a. Do you think coaches? He's not a coaches team? guy. They're going to take Jimmy Butler because everybody would take Jimmy Butler on their team team. Right. Yep. Okay. Good call. Let's go to the West. All right. All right. I've got a sword about PER. Jokic is in. Davis okay. is out. So we know he's going to get a front court. But uh, let's do the back court first. So we had, what did we have? We had Doncic yep. and Steph Curry. Yep. So we know Morant's a lock yep. as one of the two back courts, right? SGA is the other lock. lock. You sure? SGA over Lillard? Lock. Over he's Lillard, getting, he's so much fandom, man. Lillard's going to get a spot, but I okay. Think so let's go. Up. Let's go. Let's go with John Morant and SGA for the two in the second five. I'm with you on that. Yeah. Um, and then we'll keep Lillard on the back burner because I think he's going to sneak in as one of those wild cards. For sure. Uh, and then for the front court, you've got Anthony Davis, who's going to get selected, but may or may not play. That's right. an interesting dilemma. At, at, do you play or do you not play? For him, I mean, even if he's on the floor for five minutes, I think it's a win for him, honestly. I think yeah. he play. Um, I think we're going to see a very sh- low number of minutes, but I think he will play because it is an honor and they want to be part of it and all that stuff. Right. Uh, so I think he will play. He's trying to uh, like Kawhi, 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 Kawhi Leonard's a forward. Yeah. Somebody but he's played 26 games. Well, Marketing, we know Marketing and Sabonis. That's it. Is that not it? Is it not Anthony Davis, Marketing, and Sabonis? Anthony Davis, Marketing, and Sabonis. And then Kawhi Leonard and uh, Lillard are your are your wild cards. Kawhi, I guess twenty six games. Mm. Booker out of sight, out of mind. No chance. No chance. Chingoon team sucks. Christian Christian Wood, Thomas Bryant, Paul George. That was my. That's who I was going to say. But Paul George is going to get left out. So is Fox. You think Kawhi Leonard's going to be an all star, dude? There ain't no way. Ain't no way coaches choose Kawhi Leonard to be an all star. No way. No you don't way. think Kawhi Leonard's an all-star? I'm not saying he's not. I'm saying coaches are not going to choose him. That's what I mean. I, I think they will. I don't know. 
it's it's Kawhi Leonard or Paul George. That load management stuff kills these coaches, dude. They freaking can't stand. Paul it. George missed ten games too, Jonathan. I know. That's not, I'm not saying Paul George is in. I'm just saying there ain't a way they vote Kawhi Leonard. So if you have, let's think about this. You got Markin and Sabonis, and who was the other who was the other front court guy? Gobert's not in the mix. No, he's not. Desmond who's Bain's the not in the Knicks in the mix. Let's who's go back. The, okay, let me make sure I got this right, dude. We haven't mentioned Anthony Edwards. I know. And he's played 50 games. He's a guard. Terrible team, though. They suck. He's a guard, yeah. But you've got AD. You've got – This is tough. Sabonis. Both conferences. Hold on. AD, Sabonis, and who is the other – Marketing. Marketing. Okay, that's got to happen. Um, and then you're back – So then you've got, you got Kawhi Leonard and Paul George as the other two potential wild cards. Because I don't think either one of them are going to beat out SGA or John Morant. So they're going to have to be wild cards only. So Which Denver, means you throw up. just hear me out for a second, okay? This is going to be crazy, and I, I wouldn't agree with it if it happened, okay? But Denver's got the best record in the league, correct? Yep. Second best? No, the Denver. best by far. They're, they pulled away. They're up like three games on the Grizzlies or two and a half or no, four. I was just saying in the entire league. I, I oh, uh, no, the Celtics do still, barely, I think. So the question is, does Denver deserve two guys? And they don't have a second guy. Okay, no, I'm not talking about Tell you a, a name I keep hearing thrown around is freaking Aaron Gordon, which would be ridiculous. No okay. chance. Zero. It would be ridiculous. But again, the coaches are voting, dude. They're, They're not going to vote on Aaron Gordon over oh, Markinen or no, Paul no, no, George. No, no, no. Is a wild card. Over Paul George or Kawhi Leonard. Possible. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm silly, saying. but possible. Yeah. Um, you know, availability is uh is the best ability, right? The Celtics are 35 and 15. The Nuggets are 34 and 15. So they're right there. And I know it does seem yeah, counterintuitive not to put a second guy, but that's just kind of how good Jokic is. Please you know, tell and, me they're not going to put Jaron Jackson on this team. Please not gonna, no, he hadn't played enough games either. Jaron no. Jackson's only played uh, – where'd he go? Where'd Jaron Jackson go? There he is, 32 games. He's missed Bro, 14. What about De'Aaron Fox? Games, 15 games. Huh? What about De'Aaron Fox? That's the that's the problem right there that I have. Now, who who's injured up here? Let's see. Uh Steph's playing. Doncic's not playing. So there's that, that's don't how worry, Fox gets in. Don't worry about that. Just I'm just me. saying. I'm, I know we're not. We can't choose him. Uh, again, I'm not going to take. I mean, I'll say what. Why wouldn't he be in the 12? It's him or Lillard. No, it's not. It's him or. Oh, it's him or Paul Kawhi Lillard. or Paul George or yeah. Dude, this is miserable. This is so. This is tough. <laughs> this is tough. That's why I'm not going to go on record. I'm not going to write anything down. That's what I'm going with. De'Aaron Fox is my other guy. In. He's in. Paul George he's out. In. He's a wild card. Paul George, Paul George out. Out. Okay. So yeah. Yep. Where I can they, see it going. Where are they Here's sitting the in the West right now? Where Where is Sacramento in the West right now? Third. Third in the West. Yeah. Third. Yeah. You got to have two. Well, you don't because Memphis doesn't. No, Memphis, I, Memphis and the Nuggets don't. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But but, but De'Aaron Fox, is he as valuable as Sabonis? Close. Hold okay. on. Hold on. I want you to think about this. Let's go down the Western Conference standings and, and note this anomaly. Denver's getting one. They're not getting Aaron Gordon. Correct. Memphis is getting one. They're not getting anybody else because Bain got hurt and right. he'd have been fringe anyway. Right. Sacramento Kings are probably going to get – well, they're going to get one, but they could get two, but it might only be one. Right. The Pelicans are getting one and one only. Yep. The Clippers might get zero. Mm -hmm. The Mavericks are getting one and one only for sure. The Suns are getting no one. Zero. And the Golden State Warriors are getting one and one only, and the Timberwolves might get zero. So we've, we've just gone one through nine, and <laughs> nobody's got two All-Stars, Jonathan. Think about that. That's parody, right? Then yeah. you get to the Jazz, that's one, that's one, that's one. The Lakers are in 13th, and they're probably going to get two. Well, they're going to get well, two. Well, one of them, that's true, because AD would not be – he wasn't voted in. He would be a coach's deal. That's the other thing, and I'm wondering about the coaches, man. Are they just going to go, no, AD, I'm not – you're not in. I'm not putting you in. This is going to be very, very interesting. Because why this would they do that? I mean, how many games has AD played? He's had, He hadn't played more games than Kawhi Leonard. Uh, yeah, he has. Has he? He should have. Kawhi is 26. Anthony Davis is 26. Same. Well, and his numbers are unbelievable. So yeah. Significantly better than Kawhi yeah. Leonard. Like, yeah. that's not a – yeah, we're not going to have that comparison. That's a done deal. Um, I don't know. That's interesting. Okay, well, that's it. That's it. That's all we have for the All-Star stuff. So now we're going to play our game. Let's do it. I'm in. Was there something else we were supposed to talk about, or is this – that was it? 
That was okay. It. Let us know in the comments what we're crazy on. Let us know what you think about Darius Garland. Let us know what you think about Trey Young. Let us know what you think about Darren Fox getting Jaylen in. Jalen Brunson. Yeah. And Jalen Brunson. And, and, of course, Randall's got to be in. Um, Bradley Beal's going to miss out. Porzingis is going to miss out. And those guys are putting up fantastic numbers. It's going to be – there's going to be some serious snubs. But remember, there's probably four or five – injury uh, replacements that'll sneak in there. So it'll make it all better. Halliburton, again, the injury didn't help. He was a lock, of course, until the injury. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, all right, we're going to play our game. Are Let's you ready it. for this? I'm in. Let's bring it. Okay. Card number one. It's it's an MJ flavor today. So who's that dude? Week two or session two is going to be all about MJ cards. And yeah. I put them in order of easiest to hardest. And yeah. I know that – you know what that means. This is not easy. So I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. Got to be let Muggsy. You go. That's Muggsy, huh? It's either Muggsy or Greg Anthony because I can barely tell. Oh, wait. Yeah, USA. Is that Muggsy? He's too big to be Muggsy, isn't he? No, USA. No, you have, forget USA. That's just. Yeah, I that's know that, just that doesn't matter. He's in his bullshit no. form. So it matter. Um, I, I, I think you're wrong on both of those. And, and I, I just assumed that I knew the answer, but you're saying oh. it's definitely not Muggsy. How am I going to – how can I tell? It's half of – it's not even – it's a tenth of a person. Listen to me. You came on last episode talking shit about how easy it was and how you could do anything, and now the very first card I show you that I think is the easiest of the five, you're going to sit here and bitch and complain. This is not going to be well-received well, by your fans. This this, let me get this, this straight. Well I came on talking shit about people I could actually see last night. Okay. <laughs> I now, gave you a right bicep. Okay, hang on one with, second. Let me see what court they're on. Hang on. That's the giveaway. Yeah, I'm looking. That's um, this is outside the this is this is why I, I trust and believe that you're gonna get this right because look at the paint back there. What color is it? it? I got it, I got it. So this is a I mean I know it says magic on Jordan. So I'm it's not magic, it. obviously. That's magic. just that's just the type of card it is where magic yeah. talks about how great Jordan is and how yeah. you know he's the next great one. That, Here's the it? deal. You you're you're screwed up because you've got like Muggsy Bogues. When is Muggsy Bogues ever gonna be matched up on Jordan? Never. Who well, matched up on Jordan? First of all, what year? What? This is 1991. Years. Start to use your brain. Now you're thinking. Yellow court. So is it Richmond? Dude, that is not. Can you not see his face? What's wrong with you? I can't see his face. I, I literally can see his nose, dude. And, and like What's one of his lips. Finger? Can I? I can't. No, it doesn't. Uh, I can't do all you want. I can see. I got it like this. Huh? I mean, I got it in a second. I don't. I don't understand why you're struggling so much. No clue. Tell me who it is. I have no clue. I mean, I think it's clearly Byron Scott. Oh, I would have never guessed Byron Scott. Ever. Why? Because because first of all, um, well, this it's a Laker. Let's start there. That, that's fine. But my point is, I couldn't tell if that was Golden State's court or the Lakers' court. Uh, it's the Lakers. It's the Lakers' old the Lakers emblem, right there. Yeah, but it's the Lakers' old emblem. emblem. Yeah. So my point is, I didn't know if it was. Sleepy Floyd, or was it? Yeah. you know, Terry T. I, I mean, I don't know. I hear a lot of excuses. It's I don't Byron think Scott. it's Byron Scott. No, it is. We're gonna we're gonna let the fans decide. Is that Byron Scott? Hold on, you don't even know who it is. That's no, but I know it is. No, no, it's even better. You pulled up somebody that nobody can see, and you don't know who it is. Hey, it's a great conversation because you think you know who it is, that, and that's why we have people that watch and listen to what we do. Because that, and I'll tell you right now. We're gonna we're gonna leave it in the hands of the fans. Bring it. Look at the card and let us know who you think it is. We've heard such horrific guesses as Muggsy Bogues, who would be yeah. up to Jordan's waist. His face would be about Jordan's balls. So we know it's not. First of all, side, but hold on. First of all, Jordan's Muggsy would never give Jordan that much space. Okay. Yeah, you're true about that. Yeah. Jordan is crouched. I was trying to figure out if dude was standing straight up because then it might have been Muggsy, but he wasn't because his knees bent. I can see his okay, knee. Look bent. how long the guy's arm is. Muggsy's that's, arms were like nine inches long. Too, right. right. That gives it away. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. All right. Uh, Byron Teagle. Okay. Move on. Let's go. That's Byron Scott. And we're going to let the people decide and they're going to confirm what I suspect. Number two. All right. This one is a little bit easier. Oh, I forgot to tell you. We're going to do, we added, I added something uh, to this. Okay. okay. Um, so let me, let me take this. I think I saw what I didn't need to see right there. Okay. So what I was going to tell you, it is Byron Scott. So then we're, we're going to add a wrinkle to the game. Number one is you're going to guess how much the card's worth. Oh. And then number two, you're going to also, um, yes, uh, you're also going to guess where Byron Scott went to college. Oh, well, that's Arizona state. I know that. Okay, good. Okay. So you got Arizona state. You got where he went to college. I'm just, I don't know where that guy went to college. 
I know where Byron Scott That's Byron Scott, and I'm not going to say it again. Look at his shoulders. Do you okay. do you not know what Byron Scott's arms look like? Well, uh, like every other uh, 6'4 black guy in the NBA. Yeah. And, it's a 40, and it's a $45 card. Okay, okay. okay. not a valuable a $45 card. $45 card only? Yeah. yeah, I would never guess anything for Jordan to be less than 100 bucks. I know because you don't know anything about cards. It's a forty-five dollar card. Okay, uh, that's why you know I said why? you should get into this. Because it's got Byron Scott guarding. That's why it's, it's a Byron Scott ghost yeah. card. It's a, it's a Jordan Scott dual card. Okay, card number two on the list. Same deal. We're gonna guess who's in the background, where they went to college, and how much the card's worth. All right, here we go. Let's go. Got it. Okay, blow it up for me a little bit. Uh, well, that's easy. Let's Ask start here. That's Tim Hardaway, and then and where did he go to college? Uh, he went to Utah and sh- and he kicked Chris Jackson's butt in the NCAA tournament. I know he did. Encouraging. Okay, so this is an All Star game. So that is a white guy. Ew. There was a white guy on the West. Oh, that's is that Dallas Trump? That's got to be Dallas Trump. No, it's not. Because I'm looking at the back. There's an S at the end of the name. Oh, Chambers. Tom Chambers. Tom so Chambers. Tom Chambers went to BYU. No, wait. No, he didn't go to BYU. Tom Chambers went to San Diego, somewhere in California. I'm going to say San Diego State, even though that's Kawhi Leonard. Did he go to San Diego State? Utah. Utah. You know why? Because everybody who looks like Tom Chambers went to Utah. You're right. 100%. <laughs> or Wisconsin. Or Wisconsin. No, I really think when you take into account <laughs> Van Horn and – Yeah, Boston Utah's a safe State, bet. Hano Metala. Yes. Utah. Yeah, yes. Utah's a safe bet. Wisconsin would also have been accepted because it's the same school. Okay. Uh, yeah, same school. Uh, next. Okay, so that's not bad. $75 card. Oh, you don't let me guess. Oh, how yeah. much do you think it's worth? Well, I'm $74.99. Nope, $100. Damn. All right, <laughs> change it on. <laughs> next. Next, uh, 1992 top. So here's the deal: you've got if you're gonna play this game, you're gonna get better at it. You got to think about the year, the team yeah. they're playing, yeah. where they're playing, all that. Okay, so I've got this one in here as a really good one because you get four players. Yep, I'm in. All four are very easy, but remember, you need to identify where all four went to college. Yep. Okay. okay so blow it up a little bit for me. Let's go. Okay. So Cliff Robinson went to UConn. Yep. Terry Porter went to Wisconsin Stevens Point. Oh my God, that's the one that worried me. Yeah. You Danny nailed, you crushed that. Yeah, Danny Ainge went to BYU. Yep. Um, and Paxson went to Notre Dame. Yeah, that's good. You and then this card, is, this card is worth $100. $75. Pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a, that's a good round right there for you. You named all four players. You nailed Wisconsin Stevens Point, which can't possibly still be a college. Cannot it's got to be like Wisconsin Green Bay or something. It changed or something. I don't know. I've never heard of yeah. any other player in history that played there, and I've never seen it on ESPN Plus or anything. I've never seen that yeah. college in my life. I never would have got it. So I was very impressed with that. Yeah. Um, who's better, Terry Porter or C.J. McCollum as a second fiddle blazer? I'd have to look close. Well, McCollum's numbers are a lot better. but I would think so. Offensively, his numbers were better. Yeah, but that doesn't mean – Terry yeah. Porter was on better teams, I think, right? Top to bottom. For sure. Not even close. I mean, they were contender, sort of contenders, you know. But sort um, of. But you've got to yeah. keep in mind, he was uh, I mean, he he probably I don't even know if Terry Porter ever, ever averaged 20 a game in the league. He's a very good defensive player, and yeah. CJ McCollum is not. He's a really good pro, man. Anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay. That's card number three. That was a great round for you. Uh, after your horrible start where you stumbled on an easy Byron Scott, you've got, you've got it. I know that's tough. I know. Yeah. Yeah. You'll just do better. Uh, here we go. Uh, again, 1992 tops. Yeah. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Um, and I've got uh, one on the left, two on the right. I don't even, we don't need to mess with Pippen in Central Arkansas. I'm going to give you that as a gift. Yep. Who do, who do we have over here on the left? Well, you have Kevin Duckworth. Mm-hmm. Um, you know his first name? You, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, his middle name? No. It's Jerome. Perfect. Just so you know. God rest his soul. He passed away a few years ago, didn't he? I think he did. Yeah, at a uh, Denny's buffet. Um, I, I, by the way, I can't see another person behind Pippen. There isn't one. It's just I, Duckworth. Oh, I thought you said there was two people to the right. Okay, I got you. Pippen. Yeah, Pippen and Duckworth. Duckworth. Um, and I'm going to guess, because I don't know where Duckworth went to school, I'm going to guess Duckworth played at 
Hmm. Not a big school. Um, not a big school. It's a directional school. I'll give you a hint. That doesn't, that's, this is, this is not going to happen. This is a needle in a haystack type. Deal. Eastern Illinois. It's pretty good. Eastern Illinois. <laughs> Are you serious? Because <laughs> there is a that's south, serious. A oh, Illinois. Illinois. southeast Missouri, not <laughs> yeah. You just made up a college, but it still now, got close. Yeah. The funny thing is, though, the reason I brought that came to mind is so Scotty Pippen, right, Central Arkansas. My, I really feel like it's my sole claim to fame as a collegiate basketball player. Okay, is I won the MVP of the Southeast Missouri uh, tournament when we okay. went up there one year, my senior year. A, a tournament that Scottie Pippen was the only two-time winner of the MVP. Oh, I was like, I'm on the same list as Scottie Pippen. I'm good. You're half a hall, you're half a Hall of Famer, basically. You're, I'm, you're basically, I mean, basically the career that Scottie Pippen had. I mean, yeah, yeah right. you did. You, I know you did work from behind the three-point line up there. I am a lot more realistic of a human being than Scottie Pippen is, though. That's for sure. You are. Yeah, that is for sure. Scottie's going through some things right now. Yeah. If you follow social media, yeah. uh, okay. Last card. Uh, and I, I have faith in you. This is not easy, but I have faith in you. Okay. Uh, First of all, it looks so like Kenyon Martin, but it's not him. It was bird song. You nailed it. And he went, to Maryland. he went to Maryland. Otis bird song. I'm pretty sure went to Maryland. Uh, look away real quick. Let me check. Yeah, go ahead. No. Okay. So. Oh, then I don't know. Then let's say he went to Houston. Did he really? I knew it was a red school because I was fixing yeah. to say uh, that narrows it down to 150. Oklahoma, but I was like, he didn't go to Oklahoma. Yeah. Um, but Houston. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Houston. And I don't know. He wasn't Fast Slam Jamma. That's what I was going to say. He wasn't Fast Slam Jamma. So it was like yeah, that. Before that. Yeah. He, yeah. I guess. He was um, Elvin Hayes, maybe? He would be. No, Elvin Hayes was 60s. Yeah. So he would. Yeah. No, no, no. He would have been before Fast Slam Jamma for sure. Yep. And then uh, value of the card. So that's a 19, what year? 80 what? 86. 86, I see it. Okay, so it's a rookie year. So that's got to be. $250,000. <laughs> at one point it was. It's, four, it's about 40000 now. But at one point it was it was two hundred twenty nine. That was the peak. It hit two twenty nine. Okay. It's okay. It's coming right. back like. Tesla, uh, for lack of a better word. So yeah, that's uh, that was impressive. I'll be honest with you. So I've got my spreadsheet up here. You did pretty good on the values as well, which is shocking because you you have no foundation for that. No um, yeah. You missed Chambers's college, but you nailed Tim Hardaway. By the way, Hall of Famer. And people watching the channel may not know Tim Hardaway Senior was a much better player than Tim Hardaway Junior. Much better. Yeah. Yeah, much better Hall of Famer now. Uh, just recently inducted. Yeah. Although it's a stretch. Did you, just Did you look at that. Yeah, it's yeah. a stretch. Yeah, it's a Reggie Miller stretch. And then yeah. ninety-two, uh, the ninety-two tops feature the great Kevin Jerome Duckworth from Eastern Illinois. Now we know, or Southeastern Illinois, whatever you prefer. You crushed this one. You just absolutely destroyed it in every way. That was impressive, yeah. um, especially the Wisconsin Stevens point. Uh, and then the Otis Bird song you got, you nailed him right away. No question about that. Yeah. I would have struggled with the Otis Bird song. Um, and uh, you know I never would have gotten. Mate was you know his backcourt mate was back then. At New Jersey? New Jersey. I'll give you a hint. Okay, Petrovic was after that. Big drug problem. Uh, Michael Ray Richardson? Yep. Okay. They beat the Philadelphia 76ers in 1984, the year after the Sixers won the title. They beat them in the playoffs. And the next year is when Harold Katz traded Moses Malone because of one year that they didn't win the title. They win the fir first year that he's there. Losing 84, and he's out in 85. Makes a lot of sense. Smart move. Daryl Dawkins. I, I feel like guy. Moses Malone had more fat years than in shape years. Am I wrong? Like, I feel like he was always fat, kind of. Oh, was he? Well, I, he I, I thought muscular. How about that? He was never yeah. muscular. Yeah. Who's but, a Moses Malone comp for today's game? For those who didn't see Moses, was Moses athletic in his younger years? Uh, a little bit more than you would realize, yeah. I mean, yeah. Not, like he wasn't a high flyer, but he would, yeah. I mean, he was only six ten too now. So, oh, he was. Yeah, he was um, a thick, thick fellow though. He was probably long, six ten two sixty. Long arms, which you couldn't really tell because he was thick. Yeah. Is he? And, and I know he was better, but was he? Was he built kind of like a Yusuf Nurkic? Not that well, I don't think. 
And I don't think Nurkic is built, obviously, but yeah. You think he was I, sloppier than Nurkic? A little sloppier. He's yeah. shorter than Nurkic. Yeah. Who's he? Who's he had, his comp? He had a really good mid range. Um, fit, obviously, an animal around the goal. Ferocious goals. offensive rebound. The greatest offensive rebounder of all time, period, end of story. Better than Robin. Yes. Yeah. The sure. best offensive rebound, including Russell, including James, all of them. And his field goal percentage was actually always like low 50s because he missed so many shots around the goal, but got him back and put him back. Right. Yeah. He probably um, had a quick first jump. Yeah. A quick and second so, jump. Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, he was, he's arguably the most underrated player ever. Arguably. He's there. He's, he's in the conversation for sure. Sure. He's so. in the conversation. Three, three MVPs, correct? Three MVPs. Yep. Yeah. So think about it. That lineup was Otis Birdsong, Michael Ray Richardson, Mike Jaminski, I'm pretty sure, was a starter, Daryl Dawkins, and I can't remember who the three was. I think it was uh, uh, Albert King, Bernard King's brother. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Albert yeah. King. Yeah. He's in that 86 Fleer set with Leon Wood. There you go. I think. I think. I'd need to check on that. But I thought he was. Leon Wood. What would I say? Leon Wood? Leon, Leon Wood's Wood. a referee. Leon Wood, who was a referee, but also was an Olympian on the 84 team with Jordan. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said Leon Wood. I meant Al Wood. That's how old we're getting. And you don't even know who Byron Scott is. He was a, he was a shooting guard for the Lakers. And if you need to see more than 35% of his face to identify him, then you're getting old too. Percent. I don't need 35%. I need 25%. I don't need in, 10%. I got to In the percent. comments, I knew right away. Who's who's right here? Me or coach? Who is right on this? That's Byron Scott. You can Here's the deal. You can't make an argument it's not Byron Scott without telling me who it is. You can't just kind of argue yeah. in the negative. I can't argue that it's not. I can just argue that you don't know who it is. That's all. <laughs> well, what what if we get 10 plus comments that it's Byron Scott. Is that enough? It's your channel, man. I can't do it. I can't go with it. <laughs> you can't trust my people. You can't trust my people who may support me with, you know, whether it's Byron Scott or not. Yeah. Well, we know it's not Tom Chambers and we know it's not Deadlift Shrimp. You save yeah. yourself a lot of humiliation by, by changing off that Deadlift Shrimp. You've got to pay attention to the details. Did, but did you not see uh, Chambers' hair look like it was a little like uh, Drago ish almost? I got second. it. I understand, I understand that. that. But if his, if the last name on the jersey ends in an S, Shrimp yeah, is right. not, right. not a plural shrimp. Yeah. Here's the deal. I'll, I'll I'll agree to this. If three of the six people watching this show, right, or who end up watching this, say that that was Byron Scott, I'll go with it. All right. Okay. I need your help. If you watch the show and you've watched it this long, you're a very patient person. But I need your help. I need you to confirm who it is. If you don't think it's Byron Scott and it's somebody else, we we are the two types of people that if you do identify who it is and it's not Byron Scott who played on the Lakers, who was a shooting guard, who guarded Jordan, who was on the 91 Lakers roster, and it is somebody else that looks just like him with the exact same arms, delts, and face, then fine. But otherwise, let me know who you think it is in the comments. Not to, not to throw a leading question out there. Thank you guys for watching. Show them to me. Let me show you what I got. I took you the break. That, but it's casted. If it comes out looking like it's this. Casted. It's not casted. Oh, it's just a sock. sleeve. A little sleeve. A sleeve. like it. All right, free, there. free burden. Yeah, free. Okay. I'm free now. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Keep collecting. Enjoy your weekend. Stay uh, positive in the hobby and peace.